Okay, back to the front. Lots of tinkering. It's kind of sharp right there. I don't really like it. But anyway. So we're going to have to play with that quite a bit because you can see there's some flat areas right here. Oops. <clears throat> Go to the back. This is basically the hamstring. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on this. In the past I have. <clears throat> but don't really need to right now. So let's alt right mouse button select those. Let's go back to the front. E, extrude those edges. Take it down here. And let's, uh, actually let's pull it back up. No, we'll put it there. Shift S, cursor selection. Now we'll pull it up and go to the top. And I'm going to add a circle. Well, we'll need to find out how many edges we have down there or vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always forget where I start, so cursor selection, that's where we started. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's put that cursor back. Go to the top and add a circle. Nine. We've already got it set up pretty well. 0.25. Okay. So now let's go to the front. G to grab and move that. Let's put it here. No big deal. Let's get that cursor out of our view. Not completely, but a little bit. Let's see how uh, these line up on this. Let's go to the bottom, control 7, and looks like this whole edge right here is kind of off. This is running up the leg. Let's take that out to line up a little bit better. See what that looks like. Yeah, makes a difference. We'll have to reshape some of them. Anyway, let's go back to the bottom. And let's just merge that one to that one. Alt M at last. And I'm doing this to uh, sort of round them out again. we can always whoops we'll always be able to uh, just rotate it around or whatever this is primarily just to make it round a good starting point and should be the last one okay and it doesn't look like it really hurt it too much it actually looks probably like it's better better off for doing it. Let's scale that down a little bit. And then let's scale it in a little bit on Y. I'm sorry, X. Now we'll grab it and put it in here. Okay, so let's add a division right here. Let's scale it up. Looks like it meets up fairly well with those. Let's take these down. Play around with the shape a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the side. And let's select the whole thing. Move it back. Let's scale it down on Y. Move it again. Let's 
scale it down to Y. Grab and move. There we go. Let's move this one back a little bit. Maybe scale it down a little bit more. And let's add another division right here. And <clears throat> let's grab and move that. Pulling it back a little bit. Actually, let's alt right mouse button and smooth it a couple times. One, two, three. S, Z, scale it down on Z. Okay. Now let's scale it up. Okay. Let's look at that from the front. And let's scale it down on Y. Not Y, X. <laughs> okay, let's grab it and pull it out a little bit. There we go. A little better. Add another division right here. I'm going to scale that down on Z down to 0. Scale it down on X a little bit. Okay, let's pull it out on X. I didn't actually constrain it to X, I just actually pulled it out. Scale it down on Y. Whoops. Okay, and it's okay that we don't have the knee popped out there, because so we'll just do it manually. Like that. Is the outside of the leg. So we just take those down a little bit. <clears throat> take that out. Okay. Let's go to the front. Whoops. Front. There we go. I'm going to actually use my proportional fall off. Hotkey is 0. Now, if I hit G, you can see this ring it gives us. Let's shrink that down. Uh, mouse wheel will shrink up and down. That way, when we're moving these around, it's, it's automatically going to interplay just a little bit for us. Let's add another division right there. And G. Lower the fall off a little bit more. Let's go to the right. G. Working out the shape a little bit. Okay, so we'll add another division right here. Turn off uh, proportional editing. You can do it right here, uh, on or off. I, hotkey is zero. It's just a lot easier. Let's scale that down on Y. And let's move it around a little bit. Let's go to the front. Scale it down on X. Right about there. And move it. Let's grab this one, very bottom. We need to move that a little bit more. And the side, let's scale it down on Y. The front of it actually, or the front view, we could uh, do a little scaling, but uh, it's going to kind of work itself out a little bit. <coughs> so I'm going to uh, actually call that done um, on our leg. We'll get into uh, more detail on some of that. And some of this uh, actually needs a little bit more love before I leave. I want to interplay those a little bit better. Let's go to the side, but the inside. So it's Control 3. And let's kind of just work these out a little bit better. Let's get right in there. And 
this is kind of working on the butt. There we go. back. It's parts a little bit close together up there. There's certain things you can't see from uh, orthographic view. And those are the things that we're going to need to tweak. We'll do a lot more tweaking than this, but... <coughs> Anyway, so I'm wasting much time. Let's go ahead and save our scene, F2, and let's crank it up to Buddy Molly 4. Save file, and what do you know? I didn't have to save over something, which means that this is the furthest uh, I've been able to get with you guys in this, because I actually do the videos over and over, and we did that one as one go, and that's pretty good. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.